Hello, hello. Hi, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's a masculine Monday. So we're going to be having fun creating some cards that hopefully will be floral free. <laughs> floral, butterfly free, girly free. <coughs> And I'm very careful to put Masculine Monday as opposed to Men Monday because I know that there are some ladies out there who prefer less frilly, girly cards. So, um, it, you know, when I say masculine, it doesn't mean that these cards are just for men. It's just a particular style of creating a card that has a very different aesthetic from things that I would normally create. Anyway, hello and welcome to those coming in. Um, hope you're having a great day that you've had a good weekend. Hi Anne-Marie, hi Deborah, hi Steph. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I'm slightly regretting going for this stamp set because I am really sorry, I still haven't filmed my exclusive video that I like to do for my followers, my supporters. So I think I've got, uh, I've got a couple more stamp sets left that I haven't really played with yet that I can film for that. But once I've played with this, it crosses this one off my list. Hi Pam, your first live watching from New Brunswick, Canada. Very warm, warm welcome to you. Pam, please everybody give a warm welcome to Pam. It's really great to see you. And hello, Tony, you've just you've just discovered me. What, just this night? Wow, that is such an honour that you would come in and spend time with me. Thank you. Um, I'm just grabbing up my daughter's um tablet so i can read just now wow cool okay so i'm a stamper a crafter stamper uh paper crafter uh jack of all trades but uh the reason i'm here is because i'm a st independent stampin up demonstrator and so i get to play with and to demonstrate these gorgeous products uh, in the hope that you might buy some woohoo let's face it that's that's kind of my uh my master plan <laughs> no i'm kidding uh <laughs> um no it's it's to inspire you to use what you already have uh and possibly you know inspire you to purchase a few more things and hopefully through me if you live in europe well to be strict if you live in england in england wales and scotland and ireland northern ireland or if you live in austria France, Germany, and uh, Holland. You can purchase through me. So, yes, I'm here to be your teacher. Right, I, I've just grabbed a few colours out. I'm not sure if I will be sticking to these. I wanted to try and go for a bit of a rainbowy kind of effect uh, to use with this stamp set. And we'll, we'll just see what happens because I haven't really got anything particularly planned um as i said i haven't played with this stamp set before so this is me thinking off the top of my head so i've already got some pre-cut cardstock here i've got some blocks ready at hand to use and i'm just going to pop actually i think i'll just put two of these mats under here so that i know that the whole area is uh foamed up so for those of you who are new to this stamp set, it's called Mountain Air and it's very clever. It's made up, made from photopolymer and when you feel it, I'm just observing that now, it's, it's slightly thicker, a slightly thicker photopolymer. And the reason I think that this is so, is so that you can get this uh, blank side and this more detailed side. So you're getting kind of more bang for your buck as they say um, you can use both sides for stamping with so i wanted to create some just layers of color to start off with um, now this could end up being a little bit messy so i'm just going to make sure i've got my water spray at hand ready to clean my stamps and um, got my little messy towel here to clean off I think we'll just start with a little bit of terracotta tile and go from there. So let's have a look. Who's just come in? Welcome. 
Uh, hi, Carol. Lovely to see you. Hi, Janice. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Tony. Hi, Deb. Uh, what is it? Hello to you. Hi, Christine. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Linda. Sheila. Susan. Oh, first time as well. Oh, welcome, Susan, to the live. Good morning, Ellen. Getting ready for a new day. Um, yes, it's afternoon in America, but morning in Australia and New Zealand. So I seem to just catch the Aussies as they're getting ready for going to work. Okay, so this is terracotta tile. And I'm just going to stamp that down. Whoa, oh, it's quite juicy. Uh, I'm going to just stamp again. That's a very juicy ink pad. I think I need to use more terracotta tile because I obviously uh, got loads of ink on there that needs using up. Okay, so that's terracotta tile. Let's pop that away for a second. Right, grapefruit grove. Hi, Sharon. Nice to see you. Right, I'm, I'm aware now that I don't actually have to ink the whole lot up because um, the space doesn't need it. So this is now Grapefruit Grove and I'm just going to stamp that over a little bit of the top of what I stamped earlier and then move it up and just stamp again. Although I wasn't very careful this time, I managed to get a little bit of a funny edge on there. Never mind. First time for everything, hey? Just got to do it. Got to do it and see how it works out and then we can learn from our mistakes, can't we? Right, let's get you in a little bit closer. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is now pineapple punch. And, oh, I'm not sure if I should use it. The reason I grabbed it was because I thought, oh, it's nice and bright and zingy. But I think we need something a little bit darker. So I'm actually going to get daffodil delight. stuff it keeps making loads of noise right that's better all right well i finished making some another batch of cards when was it yesterday evening i didn't film it but um i counted up how many cards i think i've made over the, this kind of last few days for potter's house and i think it came to about 60 so i was like yes <laughs> really cool so thank you for everybody who took time to spend time with me. Today is the last day that I'm receiving donations um, officially for Potter's House. Um, I really need to urge my friend to set up a, a PayPal account for the charity. Um, and I th but I think that will be easier once the bank account gets all sorted. So, um, so if you do want to donate at any point, please contact me. Um, apart, I mean, if you donate tonight, I will know it's for Potter's House. Um, but if you want to do it at another date, that's fine. But just let me know because otherwise I'll think it's for me. So, uh, everyone is so friendly. Yes, we're a friendly bunch, Tony. Um, is the curve at the bottom? Uh, uh, is the curve part of the stamp at the bottom? The curved part of the stamp. Yes, because that's supposed to be like um, a line of trees, I guess. Yeah. Right, now I'm a bit stumped. I'm like, oh, what do I do now? I think I am going to just grab early espresso. And my thought process was um, to have something quite dark at the bottom and then have the mountains. So let's see if this is going to work. If I go quiet and stop, you've fallen asleep. Oh no! Oh, Steph! Your father took a tumble. Oh, sorry, no, no. Sorry, I've misread that. You've fallen asleep. Not that your dad fell, but your dad got taken to the hospital at three o'clock. Oh, sorry to hear that. All right. Uh, press check that one there and that one there oh I've got a little I've got a fibre on there somewhere 
never mind. Never mind, it could be worse. Right, let's grab this mountain scene. Because my idea is that <coughs> we get this mountain in here somewhere. What about if we do some trees? So you just take that off. Oh, let me clean that better. So you clean off the stamp and then you take it off and flip it back the other way. So let's do that. I think I might just do the mountains first just to see what that looks like. Have you got um, carers going in, Steph, or have you got additional help? Because I think your description of the situation would warrant you having help. I know sometimes it's hard, hard to ask for it, but... Ooh, those are nice. Nice mountains. Okay, so I would like this tree line in here now. So, it's going in here with the tree. So this is the reverse of the splodges. Just going to give that a really good push down. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, it's kind of created um, kind of texture going up. Not quite like that. I wonder if it's worth doing that one again. They refuse in carers as they don't want to be stuck in a system. Well, hmm. I don't see it as being stuck in a system because what would happen if you got sick? They'd have no one. I'd say they should think about at least having people go in to do some cleaning because um, that would then mean that you don't have to do so much and so that you can be there for them. It is a bit like a hidden lake, yes. I wonder if it's worth me stamping a little bit of blue now. I feel for you, Steph, you're in a difficult situation, my darling. But I think sometimes you have to do what's going to protect your health. And in a way, it is difficult because they're your parents, because you don't want to upset them. But if you weren't around, they'd have to be making some very tough decisions. So... Um, doesn't mean that you're not you don't care it just means that you can't care physically for them <clears throat> right what about we put a little bit of blue on here see the irony is that even they're saying they don't want to be stuck in a system but yet their behavior is is making them be stuck in the hospital system, if that makes sense. There's consequences to not having people care for you. It means that you get ill quicker and uh, you end up needing up. So anyway, that's my two pence. I will be quiet on it now. Um, I quite like that. It's nice and bright and zingy and just kind of a bit different, isn't it? Right, shall we have a look at what these uh, mountains are like on their own or perhaps with a different colour behind them? Um, let's see, uh, let's put, oh, should we just try a bit of blue at the bottom and see what happens? So, blue there. Ooh. There we go. Oh, it's quite nice. Right, I want to see what this is like now. And uh, slightly different colour. What about Bermuda Bay? Ooh. 
Ooh. It's just nice and simple. You can imagine that with a lovely great big sentiment at just there. What have I got? Celebrating you is the best. You know, something nice and big. Actually, there's some really nice new, bigger sentiments, aren't there, in the catalogue. I'm just about to place an order and I'm thinking, do I need anything new from the catalogue? I'm wondering if I need, you know, one of those new, bigger sentiments. Like this one. Oh, but then I'm going to have to buy the dies as well. <laughs> but can you imagine, because this is the size that they are, for real. You know, a nice big sentiment. That would look lovely. I can't thank you enough. That would be so nice there, wouldn't it? This is a very sort of quick and easy way of doing... Um, Almost like a brayed background, but like really simple. So, um, right. Oh, trees. Oh, and clouds. I forgot about the clouds. <clears throat> Let's see what the clouds look like. Let's have a play. Let's see what they look like. Very curly cloudsies. Oh, pretty. And then we've got this sort of moon looking thing. a bit too dark now isn't it <laughs> not quite sure about that never mind never mind keep going keep going um what have i got here let's stick it on here should we get some pretty peacock out see what that looks like The moon's not quite the right thing for it, but never mind. Oh, these trees are so pretty. I could do it just chopping that off, to be honest. fine like that isn't it then there's another tree in there and I think these birds are just so cute so if you stamp them one way they're birds if you stamp them another way they're like little clouds um, let's get some pretty peacock on here Oh, there we go. What do you think? That's quite sweet. I'd like to have a go doing some brayering, I think, or sponging or something instead of and, and playing with that with the trees. You may have to start a wish list. Oh yes, it is good to start a wish list because if you start a list, you can kind of think about it and then come back to it. And then the the, the stamp sets that seem to be like really speaking to you the most, you'll it'll they'll recur. You know, they'll keep coming up on your list. 
So um, it is a really good idea to have an actual wish list. So. Right, I'm not quite sure what colour I had on here before, so I'm just going to get some of this colour on. Right, so that's one layer. So that's Coastal Cabana. I'll get a bit more of Bermuda Bay down just to make it a bit darker. So always with the ink blending, take your time to build up the colour. I know it can be tempting to get in there and I mean, if you want to get the colour on immediately, we'll do the swiping technique, which I'll do. I'll do that in a minute. But if you want a more gentler fade, it's really good for your arms. This so that's really good exercise. Um. Hi, Vanessa. Oh, hospital Greg, is that a checkup? Is it? I think it's always good to consider your purchases well, Tony. Um, I think it's very easy to get into the kind of impulse buying um, mentality where you go, oh, see it, want it, buy it, you know. I think, I, you know, I've unfortunately suffered from that in the past and regretted purchases, so um, it's worth thinking them through. Okay, I know it's slightly blotchy, but I think it's going to get covered up with the trees, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go back in there with this lovely sort of pairing of trees and I'm going to stamp and then stamp off a bit higher up there stamp here stamp off there <coughs> and we've got this additional tree the single tree Oh, hi, Esther. Hi, Freedom. I'm just trying to fill in some of this. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this this way. Sometimes when you just need to fill in some colour, just turn your stamp around. Oops, and try not to forget ink where it's not meant to be. Hide it. Hide it with another tree. There we go. Very serene, isn't it? It's very... 
very gentle. Pop a few birds in there. Right, and then I think space for a really lovely sentiment there, if, if you want to. Right, okay, so I'm going to just quickly show you the a bit more of a swipey technique. Um, actually, let me just clean the stamps off first. So, yeah, it's like a frosty forest. Yes, it is. Let's get all the stamps on here for a second. nice quick and easy way to get your stamps clean. Although I've managed to splatter <laughs> my ink pad. Oh, and I've managed to splatter on there. Never mind. Right. Oh, poops. Where are the birds gone? <sighs> okay, nobody move. Did anyone see where they went? <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> uh oh. Okay, I'm not going to worry about them just yet. They were on there, weren't they? Check the floor. I don't think I flipped. I don't think I flipped them that far. Oh, they're on my lap. Woohoo! There we go. Right. Okay. No, no need to panic. Right. Let's grab another piece of cardstock. So, if you want to get colour down really quickly, I've been sort of practicing this swiping technique for a couple of videos recently. Uh, no, they're off the tap. I've, I've found them all now, thanks, guys. So it's literally where you kind of just swipe like that. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Quick way to get colour. Oh, turn it around. Quick way to get some colour on. But look, it's got these lovely, gorgeous kind of like streaks going on. <laughs> I was debating on getting the stamp. You've changed my mind. It's on the list. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, what does Wendy say? Small towels from Malaysia, Singapore, Indi uh, yes, Wendy, how did you guess? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, gosh, this is so addictive. Oh, look Honestly, you guys, you have got to try this. <laughs> you were rewinding. Oh, thanks, Es. No, it's all right. I got them. They just fell on my lap. It's fine. So this is another... Oop. Oh, look. Easy peasy. So that was Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. Okay. Did you get that, Linda? Daff Coastal... No. Daff Granny Coastal. Now oh, well, let's put a mountain scene there. <clears throat> oh, really, Wendy? What part were you in? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, no, you can't do that. Hold on. If you want to do a 
thing in the background stamped off image you have to actually stamp it off like that. Try stamping again, see what happens. Yeah, twice is good. Look guys, look at that. That's nice. Needs the moon. Well, hmm. Jury's a bit out on that one. I wonder if I just stamped it in Daffodil Delight. I didn't like stamping it um, in a bolder colour. Just looked a bit silly. So there we go. That's fine. Um, I was trying to figure out if one of the punches would fit that. If I grab a piece of... Um, Ooh, ooh, that's the only thing about my new setup. It's just that I can't reach things as well as I used to be able to. Right, let's get the post it note. Makes you happy. Oh, oh goodness. Makes her happy. Right, let's. It's a one inch. Let's have a look at that. Oh, doesn't like to punch. Okay. Try the other way. No, I can't do it that way, can I? <sighs> Try three this time. Yep, I like that. I did, Vicky. Oh, there we go. The one inch punch is perfect for that. And if you don't have the one inch punch, all you need to do is stamp onto your post it note. Like that. And then cut, cut out the design. Oh, I did it on the wrong side, but never mind. Right, um, let's get a little bit of colour onto there. So this is just left over from me doing the pretty peacock earlier. Hmm, oh, I'm not sure. I think actually you are better off cutting it out by hand. Night stuff, sleep well. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I've got some card blanks for you. Right, so if you've not seen me do this before, remember if you're creating a mask, cut just a tiny smidge inside the design because. Otherwise, you end up with a bit of a halo. So keep your scissors straight ahead of you. All right. You can even match that up perfectly to the image there. See, I've got a little bit of a halo and I don't like it. So 
that's a bit of Bermuda Bay now. Just want to get rid of that. Oh, it's going. It's disappearing. Yay! Just got to keep working it. Wow! Whew. Looks more like the sun now. Maybe I need to just do that. <laughs> Soften it a bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Um, I'm wondering if it'd be interesting just to sort of do a very simple card with maybe just a bit of a landscape on it and see what happens. It's a smoon, yes. <laughs> okay, what about? Oh, let's try this in Granny Apple, something a bit brighter. See if it will go right across the page. How far will it go across? Oh, nearly all the way. Oh, uh, just water, Christine. Oh, that's really nice. Just really simples. Really simples. What about um, a bit of a tree? Yep. Oh, that was silly of me. Yeah, that was silly of me. Shouldn't have done that. But a darker green. Oh yeah, I've got to have some birds. Oh, I feel like it needs a little bit of sponging here. Just on the water. Have you got this stamp set, Janice? Right, where are my birds gone? them somewhere safe here they are oh look I've got a smudge on there now <laughs> I stick them on the smudge oh are you playing with the timeless tropical I think I prefer them at the moment, Christine. But, you know, you know me. Once I get playing with something, I'll be like, oh, actually. I don't like the stamps to, I don't want to hurt the stamps feeling, so I don't like to say I prefer one over the other. <laughs> I think they'll hear me. <laughs> so, you know, we love them all equally. They're just all, they're different, but equal. 
<laughs> oh, I like that. Look, that, that is like a super duper quick card. Just put a sentiment on there. And away to go. Oh, yeah, and there's that one as well, isn't there? Right, now I did have a little sneaky idea, and I don't know if it's going to work, but the wording in the B one. I was wondering if I can make a rainbow out of it. What do you think? And then have the mountains. Let's see if it will work. I needed to clean it, so it's it's a bit what's it did? It's a bit it's got a bit of marks on it, but I'll get you a bit closer. Okay. I like that I'm putting an order in next week. <laughs> well, have a think about it. Watch what other people do with it. Um, I think I've seen Barry and Jay play with it. M Mitosu Crafts. M Mito M I T O S. Oh, someone get the spelling for me. Um, they've had a little play with this stamp set, which is quite nice. Um, I, I haven't seen many other people play with it yet. My toast. Thank you, Janice. <clears throat> oh, I think I forgot to clean it, but never mind. It had granny apple on it. Oh, now that works better, having the darker trees in front of the mountains. Yes, that works, doesn't it? That works much better. Oh, I managed to get dirty my ink pad. Let's get some of that ink off. Right. I'm thinking, what a bit about, what about a bit of sponge in here? Blending. Um, can you stretch it? Possibly, but um, it's quite thick. What? Hold on. Which? What are you talking about? The that one. A little bit. Not. I wouldn't recommend it. I like that composition white embossing for snow on the mountain peaks yeah now that would be interesting if if we actually white embossed and then put color behind it that would be interesting I can do that it'll be my last one I think though because I've done quite a few now so um 
But I quite like that. Yeah, um, you, you can a little bit. Still talking about stretching these a bit. Don't know how well they stick though. They're wanting to push forward. I'd be very careful doing that. Okay, if you don't mind bearing with me while I emboss something, I'm happy to give it a go. Just piling up my ink pads there. The words over the mountains look like a moon. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it does. Yep. Yeah. Right, so I need to make sure this is super clean because I'm going to be using the Versamark ink to emboss. Okay, right, let me just grab what I need, guys. Hold on. White embossing powder. Where's my embossing buddy? Oh, I just need the Versa mark there. Okay, so before heat embossing, it's recommended you use uh, an embossing buddy. And that just helps to take, re remove any oils so from my fingers or anything sticky that might be on the paper or cardstock. So give that a nice pat all over. Just tap off any excess powder. idea so some of the yeah I've got some of that embossing powder hi Cindy better late than never okay so I'm just putting my versa mark onto my mountain stamp set stamp rather get that across there A good push down. Remove. Quickly do the next one. And I think we'll do that one in this direction. Okay. Just gonna grab a scrap bit of this. Oh, oh dear ink pad collapse Night Christine Christine if you want to 
remove all evidence, you need to just go back and remove the chats because um, there will be people watching this later on the replay. So if there's things that you don't want people to read, you just need to scroll back and remove the comments. Okay? Because I, I can't personally guarantee confidentiality. So just scroll back and remove remove the comments that you don't want to have there, please. Okay. Night night, sleep well. I was embossing yesterday, but the ink was drying before I could emboss. <laughs> yep, fan will do that. Okay, pop that away. So this is the, what have I got? White embossing powder. Right, some people would like to wait for their heat tool to get warmed up. And it's really funny, I think I saw Esther do this where she waved her hand in front of it and I was thinking, don't wave your hand in front of it, that's just like really silly, because it gets hot. <laughs> and then I just did it myself. Anyway, it gets warm eventually. You can see that change happen. As soon as you see the change, the melting happen, you need to move it over. And sometimes it helps to heat from underneath just to stop the paper warping. That's all right, Christina Rose. It's just like, I, yeah, once you've typed something, it's on there forever, unless you delete it. Vanessa, you're not senior, are you, really? Right, I want to do something quite bold now in terms of colour choices. And I want to do something really kind of like vibrant. So I'm going to grab lovely lipstick, blueberry bushel, and a bit of Highlands. Oh no, should I go for gorgeous grape? Gorgeous grape. Okay. Now this is going to be very dark, but <sighs> just do it. Let's do it. And I might put some of the peacock at the bottom. Okay, hold on, so if it goes, blah, 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 blah. right, hold on, let me have a think. Okay, so let's do gorgeous grape through the middle. Oop, got a bit of powder on there. Swipe that off. Hi Zoe! Have you had a new catalogue yet? See you, Carol. I'm off now. We'll catch up on the end. Oh, take care. Right. Then I'm going to swipe with the pink. Oh, that's quite fun. Um, swipe with the blue. And then a bit of the pretty peacock. Hmm, OK. 
okay I think there's probably still a little bit more I can do to this I'm just going to clean the ink off the white makes it stand up a bit and then I'm wondering whether or not we need to just add a little bit of blue onto the tops of the mountains a little bit more so I'm just going to get my smaller brush here and work my way into those mountains a bit so that I haven't got that harsh blue line going through the middle of the mountains. Okay, that's a bit better. Get the penguins out. Oh, that was last catalogue, Janice. Too late. <laughs> so I guess if you wanted to stamp the trees uh, in the foreground with your glitter, you could do. Or we could just stamp the trees. Um, Try to do it with a tranquil tide. Just I, I really love the texture of this bit. I make out sneaking over the top. Oh man. Um, yeah, I get, mm, I don't know. Like I get you used to get snowy mountains, but you don't always get snowy trees because the mountains are above the trees, so therefore the snow might hit the mountains before the trees. That's my reasoning, and that's why I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Esther, when you borrow the stamp set, you can do what you want with it, okay? <laughs> right. Mask for a partial moon. Well, if we do the moon in a lovely lipstick, I really, I'm don't not a fan of the moon being in a different colour. It just doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. There. All right. Okay, so let's cover that up. Things I don't want to get rid of too many of these streaks. I really do. I like um, I like the streaks. So I don't really want to overdo it. There we go. See, this pink line's bothering me a bit. I'm just going to get rid of this line. There we go. Not so dark now. But that's kind of half the fun of doing the whole streaky technique. You just don't know what's going to you don't know what's going to happen. So it's fine. You know, I'm not going to get too pedantic over it. Okay. But there we go. Yes, it does it. Yeah, it looks like icebergs, you're right. Yeah. It's whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want it to be. Right, now this one I am just going to go back to what I really love, which is that whole very kind of grungy looking background effect. 
And I was saying to my husband earlier that if I combine this set with the music one, what film do we get, guys? What film do we get if we combine mountains with music? What do you think? Hey? I think it's got to be done, hasn't it? Yes! The sound of music! Right, let's just get some of these trees on here. And then I'm going to start doing... something a bit more fun and textural. Let's just clean that off. Now what I could do, although you're not going to get it fitting exactly the mountains, I'm just going to put a little bit of green on here. So let's get some of this greeny. Oh, it's wanting to not stick. Okay that a really good press down okay I'm just get some green on there okay I'm just gonna clean that off and clean my fingers because I've got ink all over them now yes <laughs> it we had a bit of a rain this afternoon I went to walk a friend's dog and we got a little bit wet and then within minutes it kind of cleared up again. So um Okay, right. Now let's get the music corn out. Okay, this is where I just throw all the stamp sets at the page now. Okay, no apologies. Just going to go a bit stamp happy. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is Daffodil Delight now going on. I'm using the new Painted Poppies one, Evelyn. Will you be pulling out the old set with stick figures and create the Von Trapp fan? <laughs> I don't have that stamp set. Actually, it's funny, the other day I was just... YouTube recommended a video 
and it was the Von Trapp grandchildren singing Edelweiss. Oh, it was so delightful. Look it, look it up. Apparently, they every so often they do do this where they'll, you know, sing for people and oh, just so lovely. Wow, this stamp was me meant for this mountain because it's got this kind of triangle shape and it just fits in between the mountains. It's great. OK, let's get the music notes. Okay, so this is Pretty Peacock now that I'm using. Just looking to see if there's a slightly smaller design that I can put into that. I do have the birds. I'm not sure the birds are quite right. Maybe the tiny weeny birds, these ones. Thank you, Alexandrina. You are a real inspiration to watch me. It's amazing how quickly I know. But isn't it bizarre? I've been on here for what an an hour, and it takes that amount of playing to really kind of find the potential of stamps. Sometimes, I mean, I I very deliberately use a stamp set on its own to start off with because that's the way to really try and get to know what it does, um, and also. For beginner stampers, I'm just aware you may not have lots and lots of supplies because I've ended up chucking quite a few stamp sets at this now. But, um, <clears throat> you know, this is kind of me. This is more my, my kind of way of doing things. Um, I'm just going to grab that one out of there. I just want some very faint lines in the background. Yeah, it does. It just takes playing. But it's not to say that any of the other ones aren't good or, you know, aren't nice. It's just, you know me, more is more. <laughs> Right, so I think I'm done. It looks like the mountain shadow in the water. Oh yeah. I just feel there's a bit too much white in the background here. It needs more. Uh, 
Oh, Zoe. Dig out your old stamps, girl. Get those ink pads dusted off. Grab a bit of paper and just do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. That's not nice, Zoe. Got to look after yourself and that baby. She must be at least one now, isn't she? I'm never going to get update with all this homework up to date. <laughs> oh, I love it. Vanessa's so funny. She she treats these as lessons and like. Do I set homework? Do I need to set everybody some homework now? Right, chat amongst yourselves. I'm just going to put these ink pads away. I'm going to clear the desk and then we'll have a look at the cards. And, um... oh my word, look how many we used. It's scary, isn't it? Look. <laughs> right, those are in colour, so I'm going to take those apart. up some of these stamps. So most of the stamps I've used this evening are from the New Spring catalogue so if you don't have a copy already and you want to shop with me then please contact me and I'm happy to send one out to you. Um, I've got to do some posting tomorrow so if you want let me know tonight I can get one in the post to you. So that's obviously if you live in the UK, I can send out a, an English catalogue to you, English language one. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Right, I know I should clean that stamp. I should, I should, I should. I'm naughty. I put my stamps away dirty sometimes. that off my desk. Get rid of that one off my desk. Yes, you're far too far away to get your knuckles hacked. All right, Cindy, happy school run. Take care. Lovely to see you. Right, so the focus tonight has been on the Mountain Air stamp set. And I think we've succeeded in it being a masculine Monday one. We've not really, you know, gone off the beaten track too much, have we? Do I get a thumbs up for that? Hey, Julianne! Right, so let's have a quick look back on what we've done. So, Julianne, you're going to have to watch the replay if you've only just come on. So we focus on this stamp set, it's called Mountain Air, it's a photopolymer stamp set but it's pretty cool because you can um, use both sides of the stamp, you can just flip it over and use both sides. So you get a solid side and you get this lovely detailed side. Right, let's get the uh, camera a little bit further out, there we go, that's a bit better. 
Thumbs up for masculine. Oh, Vanessa, your catalogue is ready to go. That Yours is the one I've got posted tomorrow. Right. I can't remember where we quite... Oh, there we go. We started with this one, didn't we? Um, let's put that on black background. So this one was all about trying to get a bit of a rainbow effect. Oh, you've got... What am I sending you then, Vanessa? I thought you hadn't got a spring-summer one. Oh, isn't that funny? No, I thought it was you that I had to send one to. I've got it all enveloped up as well. Oh, okay. Right, so that, that's a sort of rainbow effect. So we use the opposite side of this one and start in kind of like radiant colours. So... Then we did... Had a little play with that one. Okay, Vanessa, I will. Then we did this one. So this is a sponged background. That one is just a stamped one with the trees. Then we did that one, which is a nice, very simple, very quick to put together one just with the, the green trees and then some additional trees and then lots of space for a sort of big sentiment. Then we started doing our swiping technique. Oh, no, 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 we did that. Oh, did we do swiping? There we go, that's a swiping one. So this is a really quick way to get colour down in an interesting way uh, without all the kind of our make of doing your sponging okay so that's I, I really like that one I really like how that turned out and then that was trying to create a bit of a whatever you want to call it a rainbow or a moon or something or other just something different you know mixing the sentiments in with the mountain which you know I think works it's really nice It'd be nice to maybe see that with a yellow background because it says wishing you sunshine and happiness so that's quite fun. Then we had a go with this one. And this is with the white embossing powder on the mountains. And then doing lots of swiping and a bit of stamping. And that's quite fun. And then this one mixing with lots of other stamps from various stamp sets. So you don't necessarily have to use the ones I've got. It's just the idea that you can mix things together so that the floral is very faint in the background and it's just a bit of added texture and then lots of textural bits and then with the music notes going over the, the top of that. The small piece might look amazing in the heirloom rectangle frame. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That would look good. Good. I'm glad I'm sparking you off, Deanie. You can go off and create. Do do what you want to do. So there we go. I'm quite pleased with that little play, actually, because I was, I, I sometimes get to the point where if I've ordered loads of stamps, I look at them and then go, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with them? And I have to take a breath and go, no, just play with them individually. Don't get too worried about, about stuff. Um, I've not seen loads of stuff you know, made on Pinterest yet with this, so um, <clears throat> I'm glad that I've just played and got to know the stamp set. Um, we haven't really played with the idea of silhouetting these trees, and I'm wondering if it would be quite fun to do a baby, baby wipe technique with these to get quite a colourful background. So... You know, this is not exhaustive. This is literally my first play. So there's lots more to do. Right, so just to remind you, if you haven't 
uh, if you feel like you'd like to donate to the Potter's House CBO charity, which is a charity that I support, I did say that I'm closing off donations from tonight because I opened up donations on the 31st. So I was going to do it for seven days. Um, so thank you everybody that's donated so far through Super Chat or PayPal. And um, if you want to know more about the organisation, then please... Oh, where's my stickers? I think you can email info at thepottershousecbo.org. I think that was what I said the other day. Um, or just email me yourself about the charity and I will give you more information. But I did put a little link up on Artful Stamping Space to the Facebook page of the charity. So if you're not on Artful Stamping Space, please head over there and join in all the fun because we love to see what you create having watched my videos and you know been inspired and see what you do right uh thanks to the inspiration you're very welcome it's my pleasure to come on here and play in front of you lot barbara says super creative job i love them all thank you barbara lovely cards oh thank you uh, i really enjoy your class thank you i love the blue and pink and red one says christine that's your favorite one is it Oh dear, and I've obviously managed to enable quite a few of you to want these sets. <laughs> Oops. Um, but So if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then please consider me to supply your Stampin' Up! needs. Uh, and if not, if you already have a demonstrator, then please go straight to them to order your supplies from. Um, I don't want to be... Uh, I'm not a customer napper, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, you go to your own demonstrators. And uh, please just support me by watching my channel and sharing my videos with people. That's how you can support my business. Um, I know it might just seem like a very small gesture, but I really do appreciate every minute that is spent watching my videos because it all helps. So thank you very much, guys. And I hope to see you again soon. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm doing tomorrow evening. I might be back tomorrow evening. It's the first day back at school tomorrow, so we're due for an early night, an early morning. Um, and actually, I tell you what I probably will come back on and do tomorrow, more, tomorrow is start prepping for a card class. So um, if, if you're interested in that kind of thing of how I sort of think through a process of creating a class, then you might be interested in that one. Oh, Esther, you're on. Oh, fine. Esther, Esther so Esther, you on at 8.30 on Facebook. Is that? Can you type what you're doing tomorrow? Um, in that case, I may even then come on. I might come on in the day. We'll see. Let's have a look what Esther's about to say. Yeah, I forgot Esther does her Facebook Lives and YouTube Lives on Tuesdays. Where is she? Come on. Comment, S. Comment. There we go. So, 8.30. So, if you don't follow Stampin' Star Creations, that's Esther, my sister there, uh, click on her name and it will take you to her page. Um, please like her, subscribe, and um, click the bell. And if you can, follow her on Facebook as well. And so, if you follow her on Facebook, then... Um, She's going to be live at 8.30. And what she usually does is she then um, will come on to YouTube and do another project. So you get a whole hour of her doing a couple of projects. So I've got no idea, no idea what she's doing. I don't know if she wants to drop any hints. Alex Alexandrina, it's been lovely to see you. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, okay, so I think I'll just try and come on in the day, which all my European peeps will be very happy because <laughs> I'll be on in the day time there we go right lots of love to you all thank you so much for watching and have a great evening morning wherever you are lots of love bye sorry about this this is this is really the fun part where I try and log off <laughs> thanks for the shout out oh she's still deciding oh mm. Should we give her some hints, tips? What What do you want to have Esther do, guys? Oh, how exciting, Christine. 
That's lovely. Oh, I'm sure you'll really enjoy that. Printmaking. Fab. <laughs> 